Hi, welcome to JK Tech Solutions. In this video lecture, we are going to discuss about how to model bearing in 3D software CATIA. First, let us discuss what is a bearing. So, bearing is a one of a mechanical machine component which is used in order to enable to accommodate both radial and axial loads and the bearings are used in different types of mechanical devices like it is used in automobile so the axial shafts are going to be placed in the center of the bearing and also it is used in the pumps and also it is used in the industrial motors let us see how to draw the 3D model of a bearing. This is the orthographic projection which represents the front view, top view and left side view in first angle projection for a bearing and in right side of the slide it is represented the isometric view of a bearing. Let us start how to draw the bearing by using of CATIA software. For it, first of all, we have to open the CATIA software. Then we have to go for start mechanical design. In this, we can select the part design. After selecting the part design, first of all, we should select in which plane has to select to start the bearing. Actually, the bearing can be drawn in different ways, but we are going to start in a side view. For it, we have to come to the tree of a CATIA software. Here the side view, this is a plane of the side view. That is nothing but if you are click on this plane, select on this plane, place the cursor on the plane so that it will represent the ZX plane. So you can select the click on ZX plane, then you can click on start. So then you can take a reference as this VH is the reference plane. So in order to start it, first of all we have to draw, take one axis line like this and measure the distance axis line from the horizontal so this distance is nothing but take it as 70 mm then click on ok then draw one square type of object after designed it draw it now we can make the dimensions of the horizontal and vertical dimension horizontal dimension as 45 mm and also the vertical dimension as 45 mm. Then you can check the distance in between one end to the vertical axis. So this one to be 45 divided by 2 that is 22.5. Okay. And next you have to take one line and draw this line here then measure the line distance with respect to top plane and the distance between these two is nothing then mirror this line for the symmetry so that go for mirroring option then select like this you can click and also mark the distance distance between these two is 77.5 mm ok so that now we have to take one circle before taking that circle so that we have to draw one axis line at its center now take this circle so the circle we have to start so where the horizontal axis line and vertical axis line are intersect so that when we place the cursor on the intersection lines so that we can got like circular type so here you can start to draw this circle 
then measure the diameter as 30 mm then after this one in order to make the 2d drawing so that we have to come to operation toolbar and click on quick trim so that we have to trim this all how to trim this one this one this one and also the side lines in this manner all will trimmed and after completion of this 2D drawing before going for the 3D first of all you can uh, verify openings are, is there any openings are present to check it we have to go for menu bar in the menu bar we can go for tools in the tool we can go for a sketch analysis so that you can check this too so here it is representing as a warning that means here the one excess line is there so what we have to do means we have to trim this excess line okay then again we can go for tools sketch analysis so that you can check the both will be closed now we can go for next phase that is 3d modeling in order to go for 3D modeling, we have to click on a exit workbench. Then, here in order to create a bearing, we have to use a sketch based futures toolbar. In the sketch based futures toolbar, we have to use the command known as shaft. Okay. So, by clicking on the shaft, directly it will select the vertical axis as the reference axis. So, it is generated like this. But, we want to select as a horizontal axis for it what we have to do means in this particular toolbar so you can come to selection axis so that we can click on horizontal H so that here the wireframe modeling of the uh, bearing outlook of the bearing came but if you are see this wireframe modeling lot of ambiguity is going to be takes place we can't understand so that we can click on preview so that we can check either it is ok it is right so that if it is right means you can click on ok if it is not ok means you can click on cancel so always we have to check click on preview once we can confirm with the 3d model then we can click on ok so that after ok you can see here the groove is also formed inside the bearing ok then what we have to do means we have to design the so inside balls ok so to it what we have to do means we have to select actually here the balls will be represented in a front view so that we have to select the front view plane that is nothing but yz plane then come to sketcher then here first of all we can take one axis line and we can draw this axis line to the center part then measure the dimension from the axis line to horizontal it is 66 so that we can click on it away 70 ok then we can take one circle at the midpoint so like this one dashed line will come so that here we can draw one circle then measure the diameter of the circle here this dimension is 23.751 so make it to the 30 ok then you take one line from here to here then comes to quick trim you can this, trim this one trim this one ok after this one you can check for the sketch analysis it is completely a closed one after selecting we can go for exit workbench so here again we have to select this shaft in order to create a ball so here when you create select this one here also select the sketch axis so I am selecting this vertical axis so that we can go on preview so that we can select check it so here the bearing ball is presented at the exactly center of the bearing okay like this 
then if you satisfy with this one then we can click on okay then you can come for isometric view okay then place it in a front view option yes so then we can come to here there is another toolbar and this toolbar named as transformation futures toolbar here in this transformation futures toolbar you can come as a third option so defaultly it is a rectangular pattern you can change it to the circular pattern you can click on circular pattern so that now this balls how many balls we want on the outer periphery if i want uh, so they are totally 12 balls on the outer periphery then you can come for angular spacing so that what we have to do means we have to take the help of calculator so 360 divided by 12 how much that is 30 so that we can give the spacing as a 30 degree and then object it is defaultly select as a shaft to then we can click on reference element so to click on reference element we can select this yz plane okay so by clicking on yz plane here the wireframe modeling of the balls generated if you are satisfied with it that means we have to click on preview yes all balls are generated if you are satisfied with it uh, then we can click on okay okay like this all balls are presented this is the 3d modeling of the radial bearing you can click on isometric view so that it will generate the isometric view once it is over the part design then we have to go for a drafting let us see how the drafting has to done so that first of all we have to go for start menu mechanical design then we can see here there is a drafting is there workbench so you can click on drafting so then first of all you can check the standard is iso format is a4 paper size then grid if it is okay then we can click on okay like this the drafting will be open in it first of all we can create one title block so that what we have to do means we can go for menu bar edit then go for a sheet background and in this sheet background here one toolbar is there this toolbar name is a drawing drawing toolbar in this drawing toolbar we are having the frame and title block you can click on it so that there is a second option is a create apply yes so that it can apply so you can enlarge this one you can fit to screen first of all designed by so here the designed by is my name then date today's date is 11 then checked by so who will check their name uh then date so when they can check for suppose they can check on the same date so that we can represent the same date checked by for suppose checked by head of the department okay then size a4 then this is the representation of the first angle projection you can check this is a representation of first angle projection in india we are using first angle projection if we have to work it for some abroad countries if they are follow third angle projection means then for the third angle projection the representation is here the outer circle is thick as like the same and the inner circle is made up of with a dashed circle yes then wait then first of all come to here here you can type it as what are the dimension here in this case the all dimensions are in mm so that i can click all dimensions are in mm but you can see here so here uh, the line uh, whatever uh, the text we are typed it came to outside so that what we have to do means we we want to reduce the size so that we can click on the dashed light line so that go for properties here we can check so here 5 and 7 so that i can give it as 
apply you can check still some more reduction has to happen so that 5.5 and for suppose here font I want to change so that I can change for it for suppose here I can change times new roman so that times new roman apply so that he can change all dimensions are in mm then here we can come for here the dissolved systems ok then we can come for here the text or you can come to here you can change the name as radial pairing then drawing number for suppose it is which for suppose if I can click experiment ok then this one is the sheet that is here the bearing it belongs to the first sheet ok after completion of all this uh, required information then we can come to fit screen then we can come to edit in views in views so that now we have to create the working views in this working views the very important toolbar is a view toolbar in this view toolbar we have to click on front view so that is the first option you can click on front view then come to menu bar window product so first of all click on the front view you can check here right side bottom you can get how the view should be like oriented preview so double click on it so that it will create but here its a dimension is too high so that we have to reduce it so that we can click on the outside dashboard line so that go for properties then reduce this one I am reducing to 1 by 4 ok so that I can take it and place in the proper location then again I have to go for properties so in these properties I want to visualize what are the hidden lines axis line center line so that apply so we can visualize is there any dashed lines are there hidden lines are there all will be represent then we can go for views in these views we can click on fourth option that is projection views then bring down to the front view so that you can see the top view in the same manner you can click on projection view so that you can come for the left side view ok this one is a left side view in the same manner after finishing of that one this is the entire area we can create at the isometric view so that click on this one then come for window product so that if it is an isometric view you required or you can change the direction for suppose like this here I can't get entire view so that I can click on it so it will be visualization like this so again click on right click properties then you can come for 1 is to 4 apply ok then take it and uh, place it in the particular location which you want okay. you can check either size can be improved we can improve like 1 is to 3 ok 1 is to 2 also it will be ok good then comes to this one now we have to create the di dimensions so in order to mark the dimensions for it so that we can enlarge this one and we can create the dimensions for suppose all here is a if I want to check in the formation of radius means I can click on radius so that can generate it this is a radius of 15 then in the same manner sixty two 
point five. outer radius of 92.5 this one is the inner radius radius of 77.5 yeah in the same manner radius of 85 radius of 55 radius of 77.5 once it is ok then you can come for the top view in the top view we can represent the length and then width of the particular bearing so that I can come to this one I want to measure the length from what is exactly length of from here to here it is a 185 then you can represent here what is the height that is nothing but 45 yes. then comes to left view that is side view in the side view you can represent the width and then height so that you can represent what is the width that is a 45 And what is the height of this one? Yes. If this one is center height, if we want to measure out and out, it is also possible. It is totally 185. In the same manner, center to center, that is nothing but. 22.5 mm like this you can represent once it is all the features are ok then we can convert it into PDF by pressing on control P so that after pressing on control P you can check here first of all go for properties Microsoft print to PDF then come to properties here the paper size generally we can take printout for the documentation A4 size then the orientation should be in the landscape then ok so that apply it will ask the location so that here I am given as like the name as bearing dot pdf save ok yes so you can check so the total the entire area is fully occupied ok if it is ok it one then so here the bearing pdf you can check this one yes it is ok so this is one like this you can create the 3d design for the bearing ok thank you if you like this video please click on like comment share and subscribe thank you